We stopped at a Goodwill. Yes, we did. Hey y'all, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me if this is your first time. If you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. If you watched last Friday's video that I posted, which I'll link right up here, it was day one of Shopping with Debbie and we went to Glen Flora and Wharton to shop the little small antique shops down there. Well, we also hit up some Goodwills that day. We actually started the day at the Benz at about 8.30 in the morning, right after they opened. Now, normally when I go to the Benz, I get a huge cart and I spend about $50, which is a lot of money to spend at the Benz. But today, of course, because I took Debbie with me, we didn't find that much. I actually, here's my receipt, and I only spent $23, but, Debbie, my good friend, found me some things at the bins that were some heavier items. So they were about $3 a piece and that's high at the bins, but they're really nice items. So I absolutely didn't mind paying for that. Let me show you one of the first items that she found for me. So here is a sugar mold that is probably untreated wood. Um, it hasn't been stained or anything yet and it is got five holes in it they are the larger holes and it is a sugar mold and you can tell that it's in its raw state and i absolutely love this i've actually been looking for one and debbie found it and she was like i think you can use it for your booth or maybe you could sell it at your booth and i thought oh i just don't know i i really been wanting one so i don't know if i'm going to be able to part with this but i picked it up for only three dollars and if you've seen even the newer ones that they sell in the stores, the more modern ones, um, the manufactured ones, they're pretty expensive, but this sucker is pretty heavy. It is one solid piece of wood, you can tell, and someone actually made it. Again, it's in its raw state, and I love it. So Debbie, thank you so much for finding me this goodie. All right, I'm gonna show you the other big thing that Debbie found for me, and again, I could not pass it up, and I couldn't leave it. It is in perfect shape. Now, it is super, super heavy. We don't know anything about it. I'm gonna look and show you the mark on the back and see if you know anything about it. And if you do, please leave me a comment below. It is a very heavy piece of pottery. I do think that it is hand painted. It says on the back here, BIA China hand painted. So, you can see that it is pottery that has been glazed and painted. So if you know anything about this, um, I thought it was Mexican pottery, but because it's marked China, I can't say that. I do know that it is very, very heavy, but it looks to be like a chip and dip or some type of serving tray. And I love the colors in this. I absolutely will have this available for my show and I got this for only $3. So thanks again, Debbie. Okay, let me show you some of the other items. I didn't get very much. Again. I only spent $23 at the bins and I think Debbie only spent like $4 at the bins. Who even does that? Um, I found this, now this is a 2013 calendar, but I got it because of the graphics. It's not even opened, but if you can see on the back, all sorry for the glare, all of the graphics that are on there. Let me see if I get it a little bit closer. I just thought this would be great to either tear apart to use in frames or some other type of junk journaling. But I, I picked this up and I'm sure that it was less than 50 cents. Now the next item that I found I think is probably going to be my favorite find. It is a metal tray with a vintage Christmas scene on it with that little red flocked reindeer and the tacky Christmas there. There, it is a bronze-like back. It does not have a marking or anything on there. Super lightweight. I really love it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling this. Um, so stay tuned for a live sale or something and see if it comes up. 
if I can give it up. The night before we went to the bins, uh, Debbie and I were sitting on the couch just chit-chatting and catching up. It was so nice to be able to meet her in person and get to know her. We really did have a good time. So Debbie, thank you for coming and staying with me and shopping with me. We had a great time. So make sure that you check out Debbie's channel. I'll link that right up here and in the description below because she's moving, but she has some content already on her channel, but she also splits her Thursdays with me. So we rotate every other Thursday and you can catch her live every other Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to her channel as well. So we were looking through my vintage magazine and I said, Debbie, I really wanna do this. It is that wall of vintage plates and I've seen it in some shops and I think I put it on my Instagram as well. And when we got to the bins, we found three odd plates and we thought, well, now's the best time as ever to even pick up plates to start planning for my wall. And let me show you the first this one. This is called Summer Gardens by American Homes made in the USA. It's just a little tiny pet plate. I think that it's probably like a dessert plate, but I love the little transfer on there. I thought, well, you got to start somewhere. And of course, I'm a big fan of blue, so I picked this one up as well. I love the design in this. And the mark on the back says Symphony Federal Shape Syracuse China Made in America. All right, and the last one, I kind of went back and forth about it, but in the end, I got it. It says, it is some kind of ironstone made in England. Buntley wear, maybe. I'll have to see if Jessica Thrifty Shutterbug or Dolores Miss Damn Jewelry can identify this. I don't know if it says Buntley, Bunt A wear. Burgess and Lay, Butley Ware, Burgess and Lay, established 1851, England, Ironstone, Ironstone. Let me show you the mark right here. But I thought that the colors were very pretty on this and I love that swirl design. Now this is probably like a salad plate or just a decorative plate, but we've got to start somewhere. So I found three plates at the bin with my friend Debbie who loves to help me spend my money. Thanks Debbie. All right y'all, you're gonna think I'm absolutely crazy for this, but I could not help it. The OCD kicked in and I had to do it. When we were in one of the bins, I saw all of these playing cards. Now let me show you the right side of those. And there were two different kinds. And y'all, I stood there for almost 30 minutes picking up cards. No, I did not get the full set of either deck, but I still think it's okay. I got a lot of the cards and I will be using these as package toppers um, in the spring, but Yes, I literally stopped to try to see if in the bins I could find 104 cards. <sighs> All right, again, Debbie strikes because she knew I was looking for linens and I don't know how she found it because I didn't see it when I was over there, but she found a set of four little linen napkins. Now they have been washed, but they have not been ironed. So I will get these ironed up and they will be for sale at my show. Um, and they always do very well. So I have four of the identical linens. The lace is in good condition and all of the embroidery is in good condition. They're about a four inch square linen napkin. So I thought these would do very well. Now at the bins, I only found three more items and we went back and forth about this item too. It was very light, so I went ahead and picked it up. It is some authentic Mexican cloth. Um, now it looks like somebody tried to maybe make a poncho out of it. I have washed it and air dried it. And what I think I'm gonna do is just cut it and make the seams, maybe like put a little seam in it so it won't fray. Um, and then I thought I could lay it over some type of crate at my show to display my Mexican pottery, my tonala pieces or anything like that. And so I just thought it would add a bit of color to the booth. So I picked it up. It doesn't weigh a lot at all. So it probably cost me less than a dollar. 
The next two items were a little bit heavier as well. I just had to have them. I am a sucker for a tablecloth or a bedspread, and I did find this one. It is absolutely beautiful. I have washed this and air dried it. If you saw, I air dried it on my treadmill in my living room, but I really did love this. We did find one break. I can't find it right now, but it's a little break in one of these but that's it, no other damage and no staining, and it is very, very large. I've got it folded in fourths right here, and um, I think it's folded in fourths also um, lengthwise as well. So I thought this was a really good find, so I picked that up, and linens always do very well at my show. Something else that I'm gonna use at my show, now this is a plain white flat sheet, and I will use this as a table covering. Um, it's long enough to kind of give the table like a skirt effect. I put this on, on the bottom, and then maybe like one of the lace pieces or something else that you can see through over the top, and this kind of just dresses the table where we have a lot of our things displayed. And sheets are very expensive, y'all, so I did pick this up. It's like a dollar, and. 79 cents a pound for um, clothing and so it didn't cost me probably all of the clothing and the fabric maybe cost me three dollars okay y'all so after leaving the bins at eight o'clock in the morning headed toward Glenflora Texas we stopped at a Goodwill yes we did I couldn't help it. I mean, it was on the way and she was like, let's go. And so we went. This is one of my favorite Goodwills. Again, there wasn't too much inventory out, which is kind of a bummer because my Goodwills are usually pretty packed. Um, so Debbie didn't get to see that, um, but she did get to see the style of the Goodwill. Every Goodwill is kind of set up differently. Ours has clothing like this and the um, hard goods on the top. Now, I would love to go to a Goodwill where they have shelving units and you can just see all the hard goods there, but that's not how ours is set up. Also, we don't have bags, those grab bags, and I really wish we did, but we don't. So let me show you what I got. I only spent $9.50, so we really weren't spending that much money this particular day. One of the first things that I saw was this little cute dog. Look at that little sweet face. All of her roses are intact, which I could not believe. She is a single, but she's a single lady, y'all. She's a single lady ready to me. But isn't she cute? The little cute face. And she was only 99 cents. So again, I will be putting her in that it's raining cats and dogs sale. All right, another type of cat, and you know I love the circus. I found one of the snow leopard little cups from The Greatest Show on Earth, which I hear they're bringing back, minus the animal. So it never will be the same. But I loved this. It was in perfect condition. I believe it was like 99 cents. Um, and so I love all of the little details in there. And this is a very heavy resin. So um, this will be for sale as well at my show and maybe in a live sale if it doesn't sell at my show. I have a lot of circus things and I'm gonna have a whole little section at the show for all the vintage circus items. I love these little rust berry things. And this one says, I love you, dad. Nothing says dad like a man on the grill. And he is cooking his hot dog there and thinking, hmm, I wonder what could go with these hot dogs. He's got his little chef hat on. Um, this one is marked 1971, which is the year that I was born. And so he's in great shape and I picked him up. I've got quite the little collection of these and I think they're super cute. Another cute little item that I picked up. Y'all, I've never seen these before. Um, and Debbie and I were looking at them. They are some playing cards, but they are clear. Now, I've never seen them, maybe that you, maybe you have, but these are clear playing cards, and I absolutely love them. I think my little logo right here will be super cute to add these to package toppers, but I wouldn't mind trying to play with them just one time, and it is a complete deck. And these are, the, like this is the Jack, and let's see if we can find another um, card. This is the king. So I thought the designs on those were really cute. This is the ace. Um, let me see if I can find a queen. This looks like a joker. 
here is a queen. So I thought the cards were really cool. What do you think? Leave me a comment below if you've ever played with uh, see-through cards before. I think I'd be distracted. And they came in their little case. They were only 99 cents and the deck was complete. It wouldn't be a haul with me without a cookbook. And I haven't gotten a cookbook in a really long time. So I was excited about this one. Betty Crocker's new good and easy cookbook. Now I'm all about good food and especially easy to cook food. So I thought that I would pick this up. And let me see if I can find the date on this one. It's a first edition, fifth printing. Oh, here it is. 1962. It's in the teeny tiny writing right there. The copyright 1962, but if this is the fifth printing, I don't know if this is actually a 1962 book um, with this design or not, but I love a good cookbook. You guys know that, so I picked this up for only $1.99. And the last item that I picked up was new in box and it is Fitz and Floyd. Now I'm excited to see how this one does. Um, here it has a price tag of $17.50. I picked it up for $1.99 and it is a North Pole Rodeo Canate Plate and it does say Omnibus by Fitz and Floyd and it says Dallas, Texas, made in China. And it's a little dirty, but look at that little Santa Claus with his little cowboy hat on. I thought it was perfect. It does say China 1995 right in the back here, but I'll get him cleaned up and I think that he will sell very quickly at my upcoming show. So I'm excited to have found this one. So that's all that I picked up at the first Goodwill that we went to at $9.50. So, so far I've spent $19 or $20 about at Goodwill, Goodwill Bins, Outlets, whatever. And it didn't get much better because I only spent $5 at the last Goodwill that we went to. We actually went to another Goodwill and neither one of us found one thing in there, which is pretty disappointing. Normally that doesn't happen to me, but it did this particular day, but we sure made up for it the next day when we went to Round Top Shopping Antique Weeks. And if you did not get to see that live haul that we all did with Tammy from Vintage Uprising Texas and Martha with Vintage Conversation, Debbie from Our Vagabond Travels, myself, and I think some of the other ladies popped in as well. I'm going to link that live right above here so you can go back and watch it because y'all, we did have a lot of fun, but we also found some really good things. So at the last Goodwill that I got anything for, first of all, let me show you that I found these new old stock Casper the Friendly Ghost puzzles. Now I picked up two of these because look, they were 79 cents each. And I was like, oh my gosh. And these are from 1995 Universal Studios, the movie Casper. And there were several of these, but I only got two of them. And then went to Antique Weeks and Debbie, I can't remember how much they were. So if Debbie, if you're watching, put it in the comments below. But we saw these puzzles and they weren't 79 cents. They were much more expensive than this. And I do think that they do pretty well on eBay as well. But these I got to go in live sales and in my booth. I will say they will make wonderful additions to a Halloween ephemera bowl if you choose to do one next year. And I'll link Katie's collaboration right up here to show you my Halloween ephemera bowl. But this would have made a great addition to that. The last item that I got, y'all, I couldn't resist it. And there it was just sitting there. It's the first time that I've ever found one of these. And it is one of the Home Co. Fairy Lamps. No chips or cracks or anything in it. Um, it is taped together. Thank you so much, Goodwill, for taping it together so it will not break. And I only paid $2.99 for that. But again, I've never had one like this. And so I did pick it up. This is actually my second fairy lamp to find in Goodwill. So Goodwill, you're stepping up your game. Thanks so much. So that's it, y'all. That's all I got at a Goodwill type of store. The bins and two Goodwill regular stores. Again, if you see anything that you're interested in, make sure that you email me at scprincess1 at comcast.net and let me know. And also, if you like Goodwill haul videos or haul videos in general, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Debbie's channel as well as subscribe to my channel. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube channel family. And don't forget that notification bell, y'all, because you don't want to miss anything. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. And until next time, y'all stay pretty.
and be sweet. Bye-bye.